Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we'll be making a baby headband with a corker bow. Also, I have another video coming up. This is a fun tutorial for a ribbon butterfly clip that also uses a piece of the corker bow ribbon. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do so you'll be the first to see this video when it comes out. Okay, let's grab some supplies. The first thing you'll need is some eighth of an inch ribbon. Satin and grosgrain ribbon work well for this tutorial. I also found this gold ribbon that I thought was a lot of fun also. Then you'll need some stretch elastic. This is just eighth of an inch stretch elastic. We're going to use this to make our baby headband. Some sharp scissors and a ruler. Some dental floss for assembly and some fray check so our ribbon doesn't come unraveled. Then you'll need some round wooden dowels to wrap the ribbon around. I'll be using the smallest dowel, which is a 3 16 of an inch for this tutorial. My glue gun set on low and a piece of felt for the back of our headband. The first step is to curl our ribbon. So the first thing you'll want to do is wrap your ribbon around your wooden dowel by attaching it to the top of the dowel with a wooden clothespin, tightly wrapping it around the dowel all the way to the end, attaching another clothespin, and then you're going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes at about 250 degrees and let it cool and then take off the ribbon and it will make it nice and curly and turn it into these cute little springy pieces of ribbon. For more detailed instructions on how to do this, please click on the link here for my corker bow tutorial. You'll need a total of four wrapped dowels and because I'm using four separate colors, I wrapped each dowel in a different color to have enough ribbon for the tutorial. So once you have your ribbon all curly and ready, trim off any weird ends off the end of your springy ribbon and measure them into two and a half inch pieces. So I did three gold, three dark pink, three medium pink, and three light pink. We'll be using a total of 12 pieces of ribbon for this bow. If you'd like your bow to be fuller, simply add more pieces of your corker ribbon. And once you have them all cut, take some fray check and I just put it on the top of this cup that I flipped upside down and just dip all the ends into the fray check to prevent them from coming unraveled. You can also heat seal them if you'd like with a candle and a match. Now it's time to assemble your bow. So grab a piece of dental floss that's about 12 inches long. Lay it flat onto a flat surface and then line up your pieces of corker ribbon right on top of it. And I just alternate the colors, kind of piling on them on top of each other and making sure that the edges are even. And then center this dental floss underneath the ribbon and go ahead and tie it into a knot right over left, left over right, and then I wrap the dental floss around a few more times just to make sure that it's nice and secure. Don't trim off the dental floss just yet because we're going to use it to attach it to our elastic for our headband. Take a minute to make sure that your bow is even and if you need to tug on some of the sides to make them longer or shorter to make sure that it's even, go ahead and do that now. Now measure out the elastic for whatever size you'd like your baby headband to be. For baby headband sizing, please check on the downloadable link in the notes below. Now take the elastic and form it into a headband by pulling it up and around, making sure it's not twisted. Put a tiny dab of glue on the end and overlap it slightly just to tack it into place. And then take the part that you've just glued and lay it right over the middle of your bow, right where the dental floss is. And then you're going to tie the dental floss right around the piece of elastic that you have just attached together. So a nice double knot to hold it into place and then a nice square knot, left over right, right over left. And once that's secure, go ahead and trim off the excess dental floss and then grab your felt and you're just going to cut a little piece just to go right on the back, right where we've tied the dental floss. So this piece is about a half inch long by about a quarter inch wide. It's just very small and I rounded off the edges and then lay that right over the spot that you've attached the bow to the headband. And at this point, I hold it up. If I have any straggly, really long curly pieces, I'll trim those off. And ta-da, you are done. You have this darling, very festive looking baby headband.
Thanks for watching guys. If you liked this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you have any comments or questions, I would love to hear from you. Please post those below. We'll see you next time.